Still ahead tonight on Time Warner Cable 8 News at 10, as Chautauqua County continues to celebrate its bicentennial history, we celebrate the historian who's been working hard behind the scenes. Our VIP Chautauqua coming up after the break. We're back in two minutes. Time now for our VIP Chautauqua with Cable 8's James Reed. And tonight, part two of our profile of Chautauqua County historian, Michelle Henry. As we told you in part one of our profile, the records our county historian manages are open to the public, and it sounds like there's quite a bit of information to be found. You know, we're very fortunate that this county has never suffered a disastrous loss, and you know, we've never had a fire in our courthouse or any other type of natural disaster that would have uh, resulted in the loss of records. So we have the very first deed filed in Chautauqua County in 1811. We have our very first minute books from our courts. Um, we have a wealth of information in the tax assessment rolls that start in 1854. So people can find a lot of information about their property. Um, uh, you know, there's civil and criminal court records that are very interesting, not just, you know, because somebody might have done something wrong, but they frequently contain a lot of other information about a community. Um, there are incorporation records for a lot of our businesses and our villages. So we have census records that give you household information and a lot of agricultural statistics so you can see what was being grown and raised in our county and our towns. So um, it's not just genealogists, you know, it's a lot of other subjects as well. Now, bearing in mind that our county includes such interesting features as Chautauqua Institution and Lilydale Assembly, I wondered if it's possible that Chautauqua County has a more interesting history than some other regions of similar size. Oh, absolutely. I think we have a much better history than anybody else. I've <laughs> Well, I, I do. I, I think um, I do feel that way. And I and probably, you know, other historians from other counties feel that way as well about their counties. But um, there are so many interesting points to our history and and you touched on some of them um, you know sometimes when you read something that someone wrote a uh, hundred years ago and you realize you know yeah that that's absolutely true and it, one of them is uh, you know when Dr. Welch visited Westfield and Chautauqua County and decided to move his grape production here which had you know, a huge impact on the county um, he said one of the reasons he picked Westfield was because he was brought into Westfield down Portage Hill and it was one of those days when the lake was the same color as the sky and he was just fascinated with the illusion of sailboats floating on air and so you think you know we still see that you know when we have the the opportunity to drive down the hill and we see um, that incredible panorama and you just think you know he's absolutely right it's just breathtaking and it's what makes this county so special so it's fun to to read those things and realize that people a hundred years ago were thinking the same things we think today all right, thanks, James. Now, for more information on Michelle's work as our county historian, you can find her online at the Chautauqua County website. Her office is listed on the page for the county clerk. You can also find a calendar of events for the ongoing bicentennial celebration. <laughs> 